Today is the 23rd of July, so it's the 16th Thursday in Ordinary Time. And our prayers and give us this day begin on page 247. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 136. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, who is good, for God's faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for God's faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for God's faithful love endures forever. Who alone has wrought marvelous works, for God's faithful love endures forever. Who in wisdom made the heavens, for God's faithful love endures forever. Who spread the earth on the waters, for God's faithful love endures forever. It was the Lord who made the great lights, for God's faithful love endures forever. The sun to rule in the day, for God's faithful love endures forever. The moon and the stars in the night, for God's faithful love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Tonight's reading comes from the first letter of Peter. Concerning this salvation, Prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and investigated it, investigating the time and circumstances that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated when it testified in advance to the sufferings destined for Christ and the glories to follow them. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, with regard to the things that have now been announced to you by those who preach the good news to you through the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels longed to look. The Word of the Lord. Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, 
to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Ever-living God, your mercy endures forever. In faith we pray, give us your peace, O God. Make your church firm in the gospel and persevering in grateful love. Give us your peace, O God. Advance successful dialogue among nations in conflict with one another. Give us your peace, O God. Shine the light of your face upon our beloved dead. Give us your grace, O God. For our own prayers, in faith we pray, Give us your grace, O God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May God favor and bless us with the joy of salvation through Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen. Have a restful night, everyone.